Hi guys, Dr. J.A. Graves here. Today I want to cover a perineal nerve tension test for you guys. So in PT school you may have learned this as PIP, perineal inversion and plantar flexion, and that's exactly right. Let's take a quick look at the anatomy before we get into how to perform this test. So if we look back at the anatomy on the back of the leg, we have the sciatic nerve. Now we know the sciatic nerve will then go distal and branch into the tibial nerve and the common perineal nerve. The common perineal nerve then branches into the deep perineal nerve and the superficial perineal nerve. Right off of that superficial perineal nerve, you have your intermediate dorsal cutaneous branch that goes right over the ATFL. Now, what's interesting is if we look at ankle sprains that are many months out from injury that aren't resolving and the patient is still having pain, much of the time you can have an issue with the intermediate dorsal cutaneous nerve. Again, it runs right over the ATFL, which is one of the most commonly injured ligaments associated with an ankle sprain. So let's check out this technique. All we're gonna do to start is we're gonna take the hand, put it right underneath the lower leg to cradle it for support. From here, simply by grabbing onto the foot because of the orientation of our arm, we're immediately gonna take them into plantar flexion and inversion, okay? Now, an important thing here is to make sure we grab the toes and pull the toes into flexion. All right, there's distal branches that go off this nerve and it's important that we make sure we get tension through there as well. We're gonna take the other hand here, stabilize the tibia, and then from here, we're just gonna bring the patient's leg up into flexion. Okay, just like that. Now, if we wanna wind it up a little bit more, after we bring them into flexion, we can add a component of adduction and internal rotation, okay? So again, Hand is under cradling. We're going to plantar flex and invert. We're gonna bring the toes into flexion, bring the hip into flexion, and if we wanna add more to this, we adduct and internally rotate, okay? So again, that's a perineal nerve tension test. This is really good if you happen to have somebody who sprained their ankle many months ago, but they might still be struggling with pain in the area of ATFL.